Hello and welcome back to another dose of muscle medicine. I'm Dr. Owen, a medical doctor and chemist, and today's video explores creatine supplementation and why people worry about the perceived risk it has on our kidneys. In the video, we'll cover where this worry comes from and why it's perfectly safe for long-term supplementation at recommended dose for normal people with normal kidneys. First, why the concern? People tend to worry that creatine causes kidney disease because of creatine's similarity with and relationship to another molecule, creatinine. They worry because blood levels of creatinine go up both in kidney disease and creatine supplementation. What's important to point out here is that correlation is not the same as causation with each of creatine supplementation and kidney disease causing independent unrelated rises in creatinine levels in the blood. Regarding creatine, creatine and phosphocreatine, which you'll know all about if you've watched my How Creatine Works video, break down to creatinine at a fixed rate of around 2% per day. So increasing our creatine levels through supplementation or dietary intake subsequently increases our creatinine levels. As for the kidneys, creatinine is used by doctors to measure kidney function. The reason doctors use creatinine as a measure of kidney function is that unlike other proteins which are excreted by the kidneys, creatinine is excreted solely and exclusively by the kidneys, whereas other proteins that are partially excreted by the kidneys are also excreted in the bowels and or broken down in the liver. So if we chose to use one of these to measure our kidney function, we wouldn't get very good reliable data because they go up or down depending on liver function and bowel function too. Creatinine levels go up when the kidney is diseased and therefore not processing and excreting it. The important message here is that creatinine levels are a way of measuring kidney disease, not a common cause of it. Okay, now that we've covered where the fear comes from, let's look at the evidence as to whether or not creatine supplementation causes kidney disease. Fortunately, to this end, creatine has been in widespread use for over 30 years, and we do have a lot of robust scientific data about its safety. In 2018, a systematic review of 19 studies of the effects of creatine supplementation on the kidneys found the following. Creatinine supplementation appears to have no detrimental effects on kidney function. This was followed up in 2019 by another systematic review in which a different independent group of researchers found exactly the same thing. And what's doubly reassuring is many of the studies included in these systematic reviews have run for several years. So in conclusion, is creatine safe for the kidneys? Yes, if you have healthy kidneys. Scientists and doctors repeatedly find it a safe product at the doses it is commonly recommended you take it at, three to five grams per day long term for people with normal kidney function. The exception to this is that those with pre-existing kidney disease should be cautious with creatine supplementation because there is no data to show that it is safe in this population. Of course, if you do have pre-existing kidney disease, it's best to formulate a diet with a kidney specialist doctor or dietitian to balance the risks and reward of proteins, including creatine, in your diet. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If so, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel and sharing the video with a friend or two. Hopefully see you again.